Saquon kind of spoke on that too, man, in terms of, you know, just how the position is viewed. It is a weird scenario right now where it's almost like an overcorrection. Like the way that they are kind of shying away from a Saquon or from a Dalvin Cook, it's like you can make a case with James Robinson. I get it to a certain extent, not the same pedigree type of guy, but still a productive player in his own right. But yeah, it is really weird right now how people or how the running back market is. And I don't honestly know what that's going to like. How does that balance itself out? Because you can't tell me that Daniel Jones in 2022 was more valuable to the Giants than Saquon. Like, I don't believe that. And I still think that if Saquon isn't out there, you know, next year for them dudes, that that's going to hurt Daniel Jones more than if Saquon is out there. I think that Saquon is one of them dudes that kind of changes it. But at the same time, you're not paying him 40 mil, but you look at what Daniel Jones just got, and you're like, well, how does that work? You know, so that yeah, is definitely I think it's, it's, <laughs> it's I a think weird that scenario comes down right just now, to bro. The quarterback, because yeah. I think like. Four or five years ago, I would have agreed with you because that yeah. exact scenario came up with Dak Prescott and Zeke. You're right. I'd been really? like, Zeke's yeah. way more valuable than Dak. But I just think the nature of the position. It is. If you're somewhat competent, you're so, like yeah. top 20, top 15, I think you're more valuable to that team long term. No, you Just are because if you have yeah. Saquon and we'll, we'll even say just for next season too, because if yeah. you have Saquon and then just a bum at quarterback, I think mm-hmm. you're, you'd go farther with Daniel Jones and then, like, a mid-tier running back. Okay. No, I could dig that. I could see what you're saying. It's just one of them things. I just don't, man, think, I don't like, think the Giants are a good team, though. Yeah. So, like, I, I just don't know look how many at, wins when different I look that at would Saquon, be, I look at Saquon like I look at Christian McCaffrey, like I look at Alvin Kamara. Those dudes are different. Those dudes, you put them out there, and they make your offense better. They're not a run-of-the-mill running back. You can't replicate what they do with just one person. But those are the outliers. And I think that's the different conversation. If you got one of the outliers, man, you just acknowledge that they're outlier. You treat them as such. Whereas if we're talking about just average guys, cool. But when I think of when they paid Zeke or even the first two years when it's Zeke and Dak, I can't tell myself as a scenario where if Zeke isn't out there and you just put a run of the mill back out there that Dak would have had the same success because Zeke was already proven that he wasn't a run of the mill running back, that he was an elite back. And that's why defensively you had to play it differently. And that's what opened up opportunities for yeah. Dak. But if you don't have an elite back and it's just some regular guy, I'm not having to cheat up in, in, in terms of stopping this run. I'm going to make that quarterback have to work. I'm going to disguise. I'm going to do all this other stuff. And I just think that's what we kind of lose sight in when we talk about the regular running backs versus the Saquons, the McCaffreys, the L Bells, like those versions. They're just – those are different type of running backs. I just feel like the quarterback contracts, you're expecting to appreciate. Or just even no, the, quarter, yeah. the quarterbacks yeah, as a player, yeah. they're supposed to yeah, appreciate. They appreciate. You can still yeah. be in your prime at 30, yeah, whereas running backs, they after your rookie year, yeah. pretty much, yeah, you right. are depreciating. Yeah. It's, it's, Outside it's of a Derrick Henry or the yeah. outliers. It's night and day. It's night and day, absolutely. But because of that, it makes the market so crazy when you're talking yeah. about and I how get do you it. pay I can't, them or how do you I can't them. say I don't get it because yeah. we've talked about the Super Bowl winning teams Seriously, and their man. running backs. Yeah. They're all getting paid like under $2 million. Yeah. You go back the last like right. 10, 11 years, it's it's not yeah. the Derrick Henry's. It's not yeah. the Saquon Barkley's but that are winning you, Super Bowls. But then if you take the money out of it, it's like, oh, it's a no-brainer. Give me Saquon. It's a no-brainer. Give me this guy. You're but right. the money part is you what still, makes, You got to build a team. Yeah. <laughs> the money part is definitely what has like changed that dynamic, man. So, yeah, man, it, it is. Whew. We will see, man. Dalvin Cook we'll getting cuts the crazy one, but... I guess they, they trying to sabotage Kirk. You know. Well, no, is, I was bro. gonna say they, they sabotage Kirk season. Bro. I think it's Kirk sabotaging the Vikings. No, His contract's too large. They gotta nope, cut good players. No, nope, like no, nope, no. Nope. They try to sabotage Kirk. I already saw, but damn. he's only twenty seven. I was like, he was good last year. He'll, he'll come, come to Buffalo. Feel with your brother, man. Come, 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 come to Buffalo. Feel with your brother, bro. We ain't sure. Come with your brother. That's a little too busy in the running back you know room. We, we, we got time. For, we got room for him. <laughs> Dalvin, we definitely got room for Dalvin. I can assure you. And you know, I'm not even the biggest Dalvin guy, but Dalvin, man, you can move up my list greatly. You put that blue and red on. Oh, baby. Top five, top five, top five. <laughs> did you see some of Najee's comments on this? I did not. What did he say? They asked him about Dalvin Cook being released. And it goes hand in hand exactly what we were talking about. He says, especially when they say that when you turn a certain age, you're out of years, which is crazy. If you feel like you're able to play still, who is it to say that you can't? 
they don't know your body or have been in your position. There's just people riding behind the internet. They don't really yep. know how you train. It's just people making assumptions, which they know nothing about. So to see people get released, especially in my position, it's like, what did they do? They're getting injured? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Dalvin Cook is coming off multiple thousand yard seasons. Is it money for them? Dalvin, nice they too, gotta pay somebody. I don't know. It's eye opening for me. No, I mean because for him, he understands. I just finished up my second year. After this season, I'm in the same boat. And if these are the guys that are former first round draft picks, former Pro Bowlers, all pros are guys that I view as top ten at my position or top five, and this is what's happening to them. Well, what is that? You know, tell me I'm gonna have to deal with uh, potentially in the future. And I think that's a legitimate case. I we think we know it's coming for. Him. Yeah, we hear we right. heard Saquon. We even remember when we El Bell went Lebeau. through. Yeah. 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 And I think Najee understands that that's a part of it. It's not just a Pittsburgh thing. It's a league-wide thing in terms of how people view running backs. It's unfortunate, but that's just the scenario right now. And honestly, I don't even see how that truly changes just because of the nature of the position. You are getting hit. It is a violent game already, but you are getting hit every single play. Every time you touch the ball, all 11 guys are trying to take you out. And it's just a different thing when you talk about having longevity and having that ability to last. How do you get a guy this big like Derrick Henry and durable, but at the same time explosive like a Saquon, like a Christian McCaffrey? Finding those combos, those type of dudes that can do it all and be durable, it's just it's tough. And as crazy as it sounds, I'm thinking about Madden right now. Yeah. Hear me out on this. I feel like you can get away with having like a 75 or like a 79 overall running back. If yeah, you have a really a good offensive line and a quarterback, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. O -O if you have a really nice offensive yeah. line, but if you have like a 95 overall running back, but your O-line is weak, terrible. It doesn't matter. Yep. Right. Yeah. You. I mean, so yeah. that goes hand in hand with just be, running mm -hmm. backs being expendable to the overall yeah. team. Right. But Because anyone, time, like though, you said, contracts yeah. are, are thrown out. You're taking the 95 right. over the 79 because, all day. Because I was going to say this on top of that, right? Even with that analogy, that analogy, you put that nice running back with that nice line, and now you have the perfect weapon. You have the guy that nobody can answer. That's what made L. Bell. That's what made Zeke. That's what made Gurley. That's what made those guys so dynamic. It's like y'all are already nice, but now you're nice with a nice offensive line, and it's the perfect storm. Yeah. We've been, you know, since then kind of like playing the flip-flop game. All right, are we nice up front, kind of decent on the back, or are we nice in the back, but, you know, kind of working on it in the front? <sighs> But running back is dependent upon O-line the same way receiver is dependent upon quarterback, if we're being real about it. It's just the wide receivers, they're dependent upon the person that traditionally they're going to use every resource to make sure that's the best player, right? Whereas with O-line, we know it's five of them. So they might not view it as the biggest priority all the time. Whereas you want to score points, you want to do the nice stuff, so you view receivers, running backs, quarterback just a little bit higher. So you get that part what we just talked about. You could be really nice back here, and this is a work in progress, Najee first year, right? To an extent, year two. But now that we're about to be nice offense line, yeah. now it's year three. He already then got banged up a little bit. So now you got to see, all right, what does that look like going forward? But that goes back to what you had even said in terms of the diminishing versus appreciating and ultimately how they're dependent upon all these people and stuff like that. It's just... It's a crazy scenario, man. Shout out to the running backs, though, bro. Najee does talk about his body here a little bit, too. I can't stop time. I can't do nothing about that. All I can do is take care of my body and show that I'm still available. Mm -hmm. I guess all running backs can do is show them that the best ability is availability. So yeah. for me to show that I'm still who I said I was when I first got in, I think that's important. But age, you can't stop that. They just think that when you turn a certain yeah. age, though, it's over with, which is the craziest thing possible. Yeah. No, I'm with you, man. I definitely... You hear me joke about it all the time. 30, you're a dinosaur in the NFL. You're like, well, you're 30? Ew. You old, bro. And you're like, man, what? I still feel great. Still run. Still do this. But you're 30. It's just that's the game. And especially for running backs, man, they view them dudes way differently. But it's because of the accumulation of the hits. And even though I get what Najee is saying in terms of everybody's body is different and it should be taken on a case-by-case -case basis, the problem is because he says he trains for like 500 hits a year. No, he does, and I and I respect it. But the problem is the sample size is too great. We've seen far too many running backs, whether they be big like Brandon Jacobs and Peyton Hillis, or small like a Chris Jones, 
and all these other type of dudes. But the one thing that's been consistent with all of them is the longer they play and the more hits they take, the faster that diminishes. When we talked about them 400 touches with L. Bell, and they're like, man, you do that too much, it cuts off the back end of your career. You're not going to have this farewell swan song. Like, it's going to be a bad ending. Like, they I almost feel fall like off for him, though, that was more due to just the contract. I think he would have extended extent. his career here. It was he to stayed. an extent, but unfortunately, we won't know that. Yeah. So we have to go off what we saw, which was what? The further it got removed from them 400 touch seasons, the less explosive it looked, the less powerful it looked, and ultimately, or you could talk about the yeah. other guys in his like same class, or at least in yeah. that era, like Todd Gurley, Gurley Zeke Elliott, David Johnson, yeah. all of them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Down now, Zeke's was a little bit more gracious. Yeah, but he had the better line throughout the process too. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. we might be in that situation. Yeah. Next year, next I guess. year, because after three, if, if, he yeah, he's, he's going to want the and extension. As a, and as a RB, you definitely want to get paid sooner rather than later. Shoot, I mean, I get it. You know, when we talk some of the contract stuff and some of the rules, but I'm like, I've seen it floated around multiple times and I'm all for it in terms of how, you know how right now you have to wait till year three to negotiate for a new deal off of a rookie contract. For running backs, man, make it a year earlier. Let Man, if them dudes after two years, they ball and you can see like Najee, for example. We know Najee is a starting running back. We know his caliber. It's like, man, why not allow them dudes the potential to get paid a little bit sooner before it gets bad and... Number one, you're going to still get it cheaper if you're that team because it's still very young and it hasn't had a chance to go to three, four of these things, you know, in terms of being dominant, dominant, dominant. You're still paying it on the front end, but also you just have a shorter term contract. Maybe it's a two year deal. You know what I mean? Make so it two in general yeah. for everyone. No, Be- I'm thinking- Do you think other position groups start to get pissy? Like, oh, I'm putting my body out on the line too. Yes and no. But the reason I say no is this the other positions statistically have shown, the data shows, our shelf lives are way longer. A old yeah. lineman, a linebacker, literally the shortest shelf life position is running back. And it's not even close. Yeah. They are the ones that get killed the fastest, man. Because every single play, whether you're blocking, whether you're running out, whether you got the ball or don't got the ball, you're going to get hit. If you play action pass, you know, you're going to get hit. Yo, you're going to block. Oh, I'm trying to break your face. You're going to get hit. Oh, you, re- you actually, oh, you going off for a pass. Okay, I'm going to tackle you. You're going to get hit. All right, man, you still ain't in touch, but you the running back. I'm still going to hit you just because. And that doesn't count for when you actually running people over. It's just a lot of banging on them, man. So that's why I'm like, I don't think that the guys would trip to that extent if it is explained to them. Because you're essentially saying, man, do you want your you brother? You got to have science and right, math to back it do up. Do you want your brother to get a chance to get paid the way that the rest of us out here getting paid? Or do you want your brother to just be SOL because, hey, man, you played a bad position, bro. You play running back. So by the time it's year four and you're supposed to get paid, because if you're not a year three dude, right, if you weren't big enough or productive enough to talk year three, now you got to wait till year four. Man, why am I going, hey, man, I ain't trying to pay you, pay you now year four. I'm only going to get about, what, three more years out you? Yeah, the numbers show that. So I just think for them, it would be just a little bit different. That's I wouldn't be opposed. I really wouldn't. 